What's up guys? John Rettinger from John4Lakers.com here with an unboxing for you of the Trio Pro by Palm. It's an unlocked device. It's not out on any carrier, so you have to buy it direct from Palm. And it's unlocked for uh, GSM networks. So if you're in the US, AT&T and T-Mobile, uh, 3G will only work for AT&T, but Edge will work fine on T-Mobile. I explain more in the video. Enjoy the unboxing, and I'll use it for a little while and give you guys a nice fat review. Have a good one. Bye guys. Uh, one last thing. This was recorded before the Minnow HD, so ignore the black bars over here. You can't see my hands because they're behind the black bars. <laughs> Bye guys. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. Here is the Palm Trio Pro. It is available directly through Palm and only able to be purchased as a GSM unlock device meaning it has not been picked up by any carrier yet. And this is right now a GSM only device. Some real quick specs on it. It's got a 320 by 320 screen, so that means it's square. It has a HSDPA UMTS, so that means it's 3G compatible. It's actually only 3G compatible with AT&T's network. You can use it with T-Mobile, but you'll only get edge speeds. It's got Wi-Fi, built-in GPS, Bluetooth, 256 megabytes of memory, a 2 megapixel camera, removable battery, um, micro USB port, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and a whole bunch of other goodies. It really is a feature-packed uh, Windows mobile phone. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So here's the box. It's got a picture of the device. It's kind of got a weird slant to it. It's actually, if you hold it up, it sits at a little bit of an angle, which is kind of neat. Uh, side of the device just lists, lists the specs here on the side of the box, the back, back view of the device and the side, some more specs on it. It really does have a very high quality feel to the box. Since it's being sold directly from Palm, they don't have to agree to any carrier specifications for boxing, so they really were able to do their own thing and they really did a nice job. It has a very nice feel to it. Reminds me of opening uh, an Apple product, for example. So it's got this sleeve that slides out. Here we've got the box, again. We'll go ahead and open this up. I've got to break the seal down here piece of tape. And there we are with the device. There's some orange, like some orange uh, styrofoam up top and presented right here with the device. We'll put that off to the side for just a second. There's a hard plastic shell there. Pull that back. I'm getting started. Guy with from Palm with the corner pushed in so you can grab it. Let's see what's in this getting started guide here. Well, the packaging is really nice. Definitely feels like you're opening a quality product. So just some information on the device. Looks like some information on Windows Mobile. We've got US recycling program. It's gonna recycle some old phones. And inside there's a sheet of plastic here. It says palm on it, if you can see. And here are all the accessories I'm actually kind of laid out in this weird orange paper. Let's see what we get in the box. We've got a USB connector. It looks like it's micro USB. It's not mini USB, but it's nice to see Palm go with some sort of standard. We've got... Looks like that's where the power cord plugs in. And there's a US one, so it probably just pops right in for charging. And they also included a 3.5 millimeter set of headphones, which are Palm branded. Very nice. And pull that out of the box, kind of slinks out of there, and there's some legal information down there at the bottom. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the phone itself. It's got a really nice feel to it, um, just on initial, my first initial uh, touching of it. It feels very high quality, it's got very glossy, it looks like it's probably going to be a fingerprint magnet. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see it. Alright, it's got a full front-facing QWERTY keyboard, uh, very similar to the other Palm devices. This is a little break from Palm to go from their bulky kind of crotch poker design with the antennas to a really sleek, thin uh, design. I really have to give them credit. It looks very nice. Let's go ahead and compare it to some other devices that are popular right now. You've got the obligatory iPhone comparison, and we've got the just-released BlackBerry Storm. Put all those three next to each other. You can see that the 
Trio Pro really stacks up actually quite nicely uh, with them all. So on a real quick size comparison, the Trio Pro is definitely a little bit narrower than the iPhone. That looks to be almost identical thickness wise. Next to the Storm, it's certainly a little bit less narrow. And it looks a little bit thinner than the Storm too as well. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and use the device for a few days and give you guys a full review on it. But uh, I'm very impressed with Palm's design on this, uh, just on initial impressions. They really did a uh, solid work with it. Um, so let's actually let's walk through the device real fast here. So we've got a full QWERTY keyboard on the front. We've got a send button, a end button. You've got your Windows button, a calendar button, a mail button, and an OK, which is essentially a back button. On the top of the device, you've got the obligatory palm ring to vibrate switch and a power switch. On the left side of the device, we've got a volume up and down toggle and a soft key. And on the right side of the device, looks like we've got a voice dialing key. On the back, there's your micro USB and your 3.5 millimeter headset jack. A little bit weird, it's on the bottom. And on the back, there is your camera with a nice palm branding. And it looks like there's a little speaker grill there too. It is really nice to see a phone without any carrier branding on it. I really enjoy <laughs> seeing just a phone the way it was meant to be. So guys, like I said before, I'll go ahead and do or use this for a while and give you guys a review. Hope you enjoyed. John Rettinger with John4Lakers.com. Be sure to check out the website. And if you want some exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash John4Lakers. See you guys in the next one.